kind of came unexpected. Like someone came from behind me, my face turned around, another person shot me. That was oh that. My God. Do you know what I mean? DMs, dating apps, I don't have time for that. I don't believe you should kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. I believe in grilling them. I'm going to be going on a series of dates to find who can really wow me. This is grilling. Big toes, Mr. Corner, Mr. You know, my stomach is leaving your barber. And I'm not going to lie, I'm just, I'm just here to see what, what she's about in person. You know, I've seen a couple of episodes, a couple of videos, but I'm trying to see if she can handle me as well as I can handle her. Tactics, um, just good eye contact, good conversation, a bit of confidence, you know what I'm trying to say. And that's my style, man. First dates, you know, they've all been successful, you know what I'm trying to say, but I haven't really found someone that's really, you know, made me excited like that. Maybe today could be the day. Today might be the day, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I love a challenge, I love, I love it, man. You'll see in it, you'll see for yourself. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Merry Christmas. Looking nice in that red. Looking nice and festive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's looking sexy in that red, I'm not going to lie still, I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to keep my head, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it's all mad. Thanks, Standout TV. Nice little Christmas gift. What's your name? Toby, but you can call me Big Tobes. Big Tobes. Yes. Why Big Tobes? Cheers. You know, my name is Toby. People call me Tobes for short. Call me big because I'm quite big, do you know what I'm saying? So, as in height. Toes. What do you think? Do you, you want to stand, wanna stand up and see how the, the difference? Tall. I'm a six one, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, nice yeah. height. Okay, well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Big Tobes. That's you what you want me to call you. What do you want me to call no, you? Call me Toby. Toby. Yeah, yeah. Nice you got to a chest properly. properly. You got to look at my eyes as well. Yeah. Eye contact. Eye contact. Cheers. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yeah, how are you feeling? I'm good, you know, I'm liking the settings, I'm liking yeah. my views, like, do you know what I'm saying? It's all good right oh, now. Oh, charmer, isn't ya? Yeah, I'm just saying the honest truth. Yeah. I like an honest man. Yeah. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Um, so tell me about you, Toby. So I'm a rapper um, mm. from East London. Been rapping seriously from about 2016. I was doing it for fun before, and since 2016, I've kind of been in the industry and just been doing my thing since then. Okay. That's like my full-time career right now. I do a bit of acting as well and a bit of fashion stuff. So what got you into music? Always kind of loved the music as a kid. I'll go home, go on the TV, Channel U, MTV Bass. I never thought I was going to be a rapper myself, but I just loved what I used to see. And then when I was in school, I used to play about rapping like in school. My friends was like, yeah, you're hard, you're hard. And I still didn't take it seriously, but then like later on growing up, a lot of my friends in my area was doing music. I started joining them, doing some little videos. And then I kind of got out of there and it's like, well, I kind of have, have to do this now, innit? Because everyone knows my name through That's music it. and then now nah, I'm here, Big Tobes. What do you think you'd be doing if you wasn't doing music? I used to be into basketball, you know? Really? I used to play basketball seriously. Like I went to France, I was living there, playing there. I went to America, I got a scholarship and all that stuff. I've always liked the look of a basketball though. What's your intentions right now? My intentions are always pure. <laughs> I hope so. Grill men, ask them questions. You had to grill me today? Yeah. Right. Do you think you can handle the heat? I think so, you know. I just want to have a nice date, though. Why do you have to grill me? Why can't you just give me a nice date? Why do you got to grill me for? It depends on you and your vibe, innit? it? So I hear that stuff. If you bring good vibes, then I'll be... I'm liking your vibe so far. You seem like a nice girl, a sweet Thank girl. You. But it's still early, so I'm going to see, do you know what I mean? But yeah. How are you going to score me? Is that... I think I want, I want to get to know you, though, innit? it? Do you know what I mean? I want to get to know you. Is that what you say to all the women? No, that's what I'm saying to you right really? now. Really? Yeah. Are you a smooth talker? Do you think I'm a smooth talker? Yes, I just, I just, I just, I just talk naturally and it's like, if it comes across as smooth, maybe I'm a smooth talker, I don't know. I heard you're a bit of a ladies man, you know. Um, am I a ladies man? I, I love how the eye contact's now gone. <laughs> <laughs> she don't need to know. She don't need to know, man. I'm not like a guy that like, chats to bare girls and tries to go on, I'm not like that kind of guy, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But so, so you say bare girls, so is it just maybe you have like free minimum? Nah, I'm not really on that, innit? But I've had my moments where I used to chat to a lot of girls and stuff like that. At the same time? When you're single, you can do what you want, right? But I just mm. think that's a bit mad. What, well, so you've never like dated like more than one guy at the same time? No, I, I genuinely, I can't. Because for me, I just feel bad. Like one, it's energy exchange. Like, mm. I just hate the idea of someone else doing that with multiple people. Okay. So it's kind of treat people how you want to be treated. So imagine we're just talking, we're getting to know each other and we're just talking, whatever. But it's not like I've told you I want to get with you, but like there's other people that I've met and I'm talking to as well. Like, that's yeah. not that, you think that's not all right? No, it's like you're just like weighing out your options. But they're probably doing the same thing though. 
if I want to carry on talking to you, I'm not going to then start pursuing someone else. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, to be honest with you, like back in the day, I was like that. Now I don't even have the time to invest in a lot of people anyway. Would you yeah. say you'd be a good husband? A hundred percent. Really? I was in a five-year relationship. What would make you a good husband? Well, I've got, I got good morals, I'm respectful. I just know how to treat a woman, do you know what I'm going to say? I'm patient. He's got a lot of substance about him. Yeah, ticks a few boxes. Would you sleep with a fan? No. Nah. No? Nah. That's good nah, to know. Nah. You see, even me, when I go out and a fan's like super on me, I run. Like, if I'm talking to a girl and she, she's a proper fan of me, I'm not really, I'm not really trying to go really? there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. sleep with me? But I sleep with you. I might be a fan. <laughs> yeah, I'll sleep with you. Oh. Just cuddle though, not sex. I'll be a fan. Eh? You'll be a fan. Me now, I'm a fan. You're not a fan though. Yeah, but I'm a fan of what you're saying. You're a fan of what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that then. So oh. <laughs> Would you would you sleep with a rapper? No. Why? Do you know what it is? I w okay, I'm never gonna say never. Yeah. Because you never know. Mm. But realistically, like the lifestyle, I think it would be too much for me to handle. You like you obviously get a lot of attention and just many options like regular men that aren't in like the media or limelight they have options mm. so imagine a man that's also got options and in the limelight that's not really fair you know because not all rappers like do this like bear girls and bear like problem stuff like i'm like i'm you don't hear not no scandalous stuff about me yeah, no, you don't hear to find one. you don't yeah you don't hear you don't see me with bare women and stuff like that i'm chilled so it depends because someone can say you know yeah you, you do media you have a lot of guys on your shows blah 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 so they're not gonna give you a chance but i'm sure well, I don't know what you're like. Do you like see a lot of men or like, but well, you probably have a lot of options, right? Yeah. But you're probably chilled. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm well chilled. Exactly. So you should give a rapper the same chance, man. Like me. Like you? Yeah. I give you a chance. Yeah, you should get to know me and just see beyond being a rapper and a public eye. Uh, yeah, no, I can see like. beyond. Like, I'm not a complete. Oh. When was the last time you had sex? Um, is that necessary to ask me that? Yeah. And all these people? Yeah. I feel, I feel like some things you should kind of keep private, like, do you know what I mean? Not really for the whole world to know. Are you active or just not active? I'm not active. Do you have, like, buddies and stuff? Buddies? No, I don't have buddies. I know you think I'm lying, but I'm actually being honest about this really? still. Yeah. What's your night in then? I relax. I've got a studio in my house. I might make music. Every night is kind of different. Depends. I might be busy. I'm quite a busy guy, so it just depends on, on that evening. Hmm. But again, I was in a long relationship, so, yeah. do you know what I mean? And I kind of come out recently so oh really i've been kind of <clears throat> chilling chilling are you, do you think you're gonna like have a rebound and start moving mad or are you like um no like it's women nowadays i don't know about women nowadays man i just don't really want to invest in just anyone do you know what i mean what's wrong with women boy it's just toxic man why what are they crazy done? the things i see and the things that the way they act in it, it's just a bit well, mad i don't know i don't i don't uh, see. i don't want to get cancelled man i don't want to say that no, i'm mad man no, no but just tell me mad. enlighten me so i um, so i can kind of speak on that i just think like the mentalities are a bit um brainwashed by like city girls and stuff like that and i feel like not a, not a lot of women have good values nowadays and they're influenced by the wrong people no the girls are acting nowadays man they're just they're just gassed in it do you know what i'm gonna say but they ain't really like that offline man you get me don't be don't be fooled by the hype it's like a battle of the sexes constantly. No, it is to be fair, but it seems like women hate men nowadays anyway. When I look online, it's always hate men, this anyway, so. You guys all preach, oh, we want a good woman that has all these values, but then mm. it's okay for you guys to then fuck us up, traumatise us, so then we just think, fuck this, why should I be a good woman for the wrong men? Because you just keep doing it. Like, this men why, this is why women. the world is finished. Because it's like it's a back and forth thing, like, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? Like, so that's why it's a bit mad. But yeah. hopefully, hopefully, you know, there's, there's, good, there's good women and good men out there. So yeah, 100%. No one's cancelled, you know what I'm trying to say? Bro, I'm just gonna keep agreeing with them, man. Yeah, whatever in it, like. Do you suffer with mental health? I have certain ways I might express myself, like through music. I don't really talk to people much, but when I get on a mic and I'm rapping, I get to say everything that's on my mind, on my chest, without I can just put it in the words, so everyone, everyone knows how I'm feeling without me having a personal conversation. But maybe that's something I need to work on anyway. Do you know what I mean? So, what's like your thoughts on like this whole just to be a man kind of thing and not speak up on issues? I'll be real with you, as a man, it's hard to be vulnerable, it's hard to open up, it's hard to seem like you're weak, innit? Do you get know what I'm trying to say? And, and some women do take advantage of that, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like when a man's weak and vulnerable and it gets thrown in your face and that's how a lot of men feel. So they feel like they can't really, and even to other men them as well, like you don't want to see, seem weak to other guys as well. So it's like you never want to show that side. And I feel like the way men have been raised or a lot of men have been raised, like it's almost to like, Bro, get over it, man. You're beautiful. Like, don't be weak. Don't be like, don't be a pussy. Like, you're good. So I feel like growing up, and it's like we all feel like we we have to get over it. We're not meant to cry about it. What are you what are you crying for? 
you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel that's the kind of mentality that we, most of us guys have mm -hmm. in it, do you know what I mean? Most of the deaths from men is like suicidal, I swear. Yeah, it's three and a half times higher than women's. And that's probably because men are going through things that they can't talk about or they've got no one to go to, so they do it for themselves in their outlet might be drugs or their outlet might be something else that's killing them, do you know what I'm trying to yeah. say? So I think it's important for us to like, I said therapy, man. Like, I've never done it, but I've been told by a lot of people that it's really good, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? And I feel like a lot of men need to, they need to find another outlet to kind of, you know what I'm saying, and not deal with it alone, because a lot of man's died and it's like, raw, you didn't tell me, I didn't know who was going through this. A lot of us are holding a lot of things in, you get me? So it's important to chat and open up sometimes, you feel me? You're speaking a lot of wisdom right now. Are your DMs active? Yeah, but I don't open it. Are you stush? Yeah. Yeah. No shame. Oh, it's quite bougie, that's all right. At least I ain't got nothing to worry about. A lot of girls, they've messed up for rappers. Like, they messed up for themselves because like, all these screenshot business and, oh, I'll talk to this person, like, I don't open my DMs, you ain't gonna, I don't respond to you. Unless I know you, or like you're hitting me up on a purpose, man, like, hey, I need to speak to you about, or something like that. If you're just hitting me up, like, just to say I, I, just, I just, I just, I don't even open it. Some man don't care, innit? Some man's like, whatever, innit? But me, I'm like, yeah. If I'd have to see you out, and like, if I see you out and we vibe, then we vibe, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Because there's bear catfishes on Instagram, like, I ain't looking at Instagram picture thinking, yeah, yeah, you, and then, do you know what I mean? So, mm. if I see you or I like what you're doing on the gram and I'm intrigued or I'm thinking by it, then I might have a little conversation there and there and see what I'll go and try and catch up. But I can actually catch someone's vibe by looking at their stories, their highlights, and you kind of yeah. gauge how a person is, innit? So, do you think you brought up on love or survival? Both. Really? Yeah. Love because I've been around love, like, both of my parents, like, my family, do you know what I'm trying to say, like my friends, like, do you know what I mean? But survival because I've been through things outside that I had to do with by myself and learned how to do with it by myself. What's the hardest thing you've had to do by yourself? Oh, probably when I got shot and stabbed. You got shot? Yeah, and sliced my face. Can you not see my face? Oh, shit. Don't get scared, though. Oh, my God. Why did you get shot? Oh, it's techie, man. People just tried it with me and... Oh, my God. You know, they, they succeeded. Yeah, I've been through a lot of fuckery, man, in my life, but, you know, I'm here. When I'm cool, you makes you stronger. I'm here, I'm happy, I'm healthy. I'm living life, man, so can't complain, I mean, move. Did you ever think about your mum and your dad? Because during situations when you get into trouble, like, yeah. I feel everyone's so caught up in the moment. Like, no one actually thinks about, like, you could have lost your life. Like, yeah, that's 100%. A but lot. this wasn't a situation that I expected. Like, I'm not, I'm not a gang member. I was not yeah. involved in no gang violence, but I got involved in something and people did something bad to me, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? But I didn't expect that to happen on the, at the time. It kind of came unexpected. Like, someone came from behind me, my face turned around, another person shot me. That was oh that. Oh, my God. Do you know what I mean? At the time, my mum lived in well, my mum lives in she lived in Nigeria since 2012, so she couldn't really be there. But I'm here today, so I'm thankful and I'm good. I'm on a beautiful day for beautiful girls, so that charm. Life, ain't, life ain't too bad, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for sharing that. Well, that's cool. Nice. Cheers to life, innit? Yeah, you know cheers I mean? to because, life. Because yeah, you can't take that for granted. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, big respect to him. Seems like he's been through a lot and he's grown a lot, and I love a man that holds himself accountable for things they've done wrong. Do you have any fetishes? Um, I love toes, and I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I, Do you? I, I is that love, why your friends no, call you? No, didn't I, you say I, your I, friends call you uh, toes, or was it toes? Are you violating? No, I'm just asking. Toes or toes? I thought they said. I thought you said toes. No, nah, you're violating. You're violating. You're violating. You're violating. Still about big toes. Man size eleven, but it's not big toes. It's big toes. Don't ever get cheeky like that again. Toes, you know. But you no, like toes? No, I don't. Like, I don't care about toes. I don't. Like, that's not my fetish. I'm just trying to rubbish. But what is your fetish? And by the way. Feet are nice. No, feet are cool, but I just don't care about them. Like, I'm not going to suck them ever. I'm not going to lick them. No. I'm not going to, like... I might massage it if your feet are clean, but... So what's your fetish, then? F do I have a fetish like that? I really like curly hair, you know? Do you? Is that, is it, that's not weird, is it? It's just, I feel that's more like a preference, not like a fetish. It's not a fetish, is Unless it? Unless you're typing, like, curly hair, porn, something. Is that a thing? I don't know. Do you I watch porn? No, I don't. At all? No. You don't watch porn? I used to, I used to but I don't. Everyone watches porn, man. She's definitely watching porn, man. You must be getting in, that's why, isn't it? No. Yeah, because it, stop, it stops you from, like, going to see a girl that I don't want to see. Oh, really? So that's how you do it? So what, you, you get me? Just do your thing, then you're cool. You can sleep nice. Because you know sometimes when you're horny, yeah, you might go for your phone thinking, <laughs> there's so much girls that are thinking, yeah, I can, just, I can go hit her up, but you don't want to do that because you're going to have sex and you're probably going to regret it after. Put on a little porn and just release whatever you need to release, you know what I'm saying? Oh. But it's not often, though. It's just sometimes. Okay. <laughs> What do you want out of life? Have a, a good family, a good home, my whole family, my friends to be looked after. I want to leave this world with a legacy. Just good, positive yeah. things, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, rest in peace, my boy Cadet. Like, everyone's got good things to say about Cadet. He was my guy, my, my, one of my closest mates in it. So, I just want to leave behind a good, a good legacy, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you have any insecurities? No, you know. Have you always been confident? No. 
Yeah. When I was growing up, I was not confident at all. I was, I was, just, I was a kid in secondary school. I'd just be hiding my face, like just in the corner, like just, just kind of just chilling. Or was you shy? Yeah, I was proper shy. Oh my God, Even I'm though I'm, still, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit shy, but I think doing music helped me overcome that. Because when you got to get on a stage in front of bare people, you can't be shy in it. You have to yeah. do kind of things. I think that kind of helped me get over like my shyness. But I used yeah. to be quite like shy, and I'm quite quiet and reserved in it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I used to be really shy. Really? Yeah. Shy, yeah. That's your, my name. Mm. And then I, I remember what was it? I just wanted to take because I used to go shy, Cheyenne, and I just took a stand, and then I had the cheesiest punchline for a good five years. I was like, yeah. "Hi, I'm Cheyenne, and there's nothing shy about me." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, "Oh my god!" Like, you don't, yeah. you don't seem attacked. No, I was just ugly though. Like, you were? yeah, I was so butters in school. Nah, show me a picture. No. <laughs> nah, you were, you weren't ugly. I swear to God, I was. What's she? You, oh, you weren't ugly. I man. swear to God, God anyone from school will tell you I was clapped. <laughs> like, I don't care. To? I went to school in Essex. Oh, okay, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Why yes and no? I've only um, done it to one girl that I was in a relationship with. Really? I'd only do it in a relationship, so. How many people you slept with? How many people I slept with? <laughs> oh, God. He clearly gets a lot of women. A few people, innit? A few? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah but like a lot, a little, or a lot? Um, what's a lot to you? Any, anything over like 50, innit? What's it be around that, you know? Yeah. And you've only literally gone down on one woman? Yeah. I can't just eat any yell, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Why do all these men never go down on women? Like, what is the issue? I was proper against it, like. Like, I actually said I'll never, ever, ever do it. I even had it in a song saying I'll never do it. Really? One of my biggest songs, the song that blew me up. In that song, I was like, I'll never do it. It's 2021, man. You get me, like, things change. You get me? <laughs> to all my fans, I let you down, say, man. But, um... <laughs> yeah, that's... Do you know what it is? I just wasn't on that, like, it's just not what well, I was on in it. But then I got in a relationship and then, you know, like, you got to satisfy your girl in it when she wants it, do you know yeah. what I mean? So I had to just um, submit. Would you say you're good at it, though? Because um, you can have a shit mouth game. It's not for me to say in it, do you know what I mean? It's for her to say in it. But yeah, I'm, I know what I'm doing in it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. I've got a job. When I get in a bedroom, I've got a job, which is to make her finish, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Bro, look at the way she's looking at my soul, bro. She's trying to seduce me. She knows what she's doing, man. And it's working slowly, you're not gonna lie. No. No. Why not? If you're my wife, what's mine is yours. Okay, but that's fine. Do you get? Forget trust and that stuff. There's things, there's conversations I might have with my boys, there's group chats in my with my bedrooms that man don't want to say. And girls are nosy. So a girl will pick up my phone and she would want to know, ooh, everything about the drums and say, and there's certain things I might not want me to see. Yeah. Like we should be, we all deserve some privacy at the same time. If I was in a relationship with you and I asked to see your phone, yeah. would you show me it? I see, what do you want to see first? Memes. Memes? I'd be like, cool. It's <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> memes, you know. Are you one of the people that send your boyfriend like memes and stuff and all this kind of stuff that you Listen, find funny? Like? That's how I flirt, I just send you memes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Are you a flirty girl? I think I'm, I'm naturally a flirt, but I wouldn't even say that I'm flirting. You got a very flirty like look. Do I? I don't yeah. think I try. I'm not trying to be flirty. I know, I'm but just you, just like, got, you just got to look about you still. It's good though. It's good. To look flirty. Yeah, to look like it's, it's like a seductive kind of look. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's the red that you're wearing. I don't do you know. reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon I'm trying to seduce you? It's the smile, <laughs> man. It's a smile for me, man. But um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. uh, well done. I thought you were going to say no, f*** that, f*** them. No. Um, I just don't like leaving bad blood, innit? Unless, like, you done me dirty. If you done me dirty, then we're not cool. Like, I don't want to see you. If we just broke up because we just broke up. Outgrow each other. Yeah, we just, I'd be, still be cool, do you know what I'm trying to say? I find it mad that you could spend years with someone and then just and never speak to them again. Yeah, that's like, what mad. The world glamorises, oh my God, that's your ex, you should yeah. take them. Like, no. Nah, man, you don't have to do that, man. Sometimes you outgrow people, sometimes you realise that person's not the one for you. Yeah. Don't mean you should hate each other and start beefing each other. Like, you should be able to see each other and be like, you know what, yeah, cool. Yeah. You've got a nice guy now, but you got to make sure he looks after you, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Simple. No, I wouldn't mind. Oh. I swear, I hope oh. you say yeah with this double standard you've got going. <laughs> double standards, red flag. Double standards are mad. Like, you can't be active friends. You can be cool as in, like, if, do you know what I'm saying? But not, like, an active friendship. Like, you can't be, like, talking... All the time. ...on a regular or, like, having conversations. Like, yeah, I, I get you. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Cool if, you're, if you're cool with them, like, boom, like, it might pop up, hey, you cool, yeah, I'm alright, blah, blah, blah. But as long as it's, cause it's about boundaries, isn't it? So I have an ex that every few years we actually catch up and go for dinner. Well, you must be high, like, uh, yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> Why are you going for dinner? I've not been in a relationship mm. since if that makes sense, but we will oh. regularly catch up because it's yeah. just nice to see the growth kind of thing. I'm not going to lie, if, if I'm seeing someone, yeah, 
you like you're not linking your ex for dinners. Like, that's not happening. What if it was just a coffee then, not dinner? Coffee, burger, chips. It's not happening. Why? Because why are you doing that for? That's a date, basically. No, it's not a date. It is a date, it's though. Not. It's a friendly it's, it date. It does sound mad, though. It does, it does sound, sound mad. mad, yeah. Once I'm done with someone, I'm done. Like, mm. I will never sleep with you again. Mm -hmm. I will never text you a flirty way. Like, so I guess for me, emotionally, I'm so cut off that I can actually go for dinner with my ex and not feel away. Like, I would not even be attracted to him. Like, it's actually mad how disconnected I can be. When it comes to, like, relationships, yeah, it's about how does thing, how would your partner feel about things, isn't it? And certain things you've got to sacrifice for that. So even though man know you, you're going to be good, you're not trying to, you're not even attracted to them, but you genuinely want to see, that, see if they're good, if that's going to make your partner feel a certain way or not feel comfortable with it, what's more important to you? Like, your party you're trying to grow a future with. And of course, your man. So, so, exactly. So, certain things you've got to sacrifice. Like, something like that, like, you probably wouldn't want your guy to link with his ex for dinner. Are you, yeah. are you cool with that? No, no, I'm, I mean, I'm very laid back, but at the same time, I'm not an idiot. You know, so it depends on the person, the vibe, the woman, like, the ex. So, a lot of that goes, goes into it, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Unless me and your ex's best friend, which is probably not going to gonna be happening, <laughs> Then no, I feel like it's unnecessary. I feel like if you want to check each other, you can even the messages might let that slide. But yeah. going out to actually link them and spend time with them, it's gonna it's gonna cause deeper issues that don't need to be to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've kind of accepted that people done their things in the past. But I can't really let that affect my relationship with them. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But I'll prefer if it was less. I still want to be in places where like my man could have. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yes, it's more I like it. I like exclusivity and all that kind of stuff in it. So, if your body count, counts high, no. If it's really, if it's really high, it's a no go in it. So do you think it's like an amount ego thing? Probably. It's ego. Probably. It's a you problem. Maybe it is, but it is what it is, isn't it? I like what I like, and if I if I prefer my girl to be a low body count, then it is. <laughs> well, do you, do you care about body count slap for guys in it? Not really. Do you know what it is? It's not that I care about body count, and I'm gonna sound like a complete but it's like the quality of the person because sometimes I don't mind but then when I see the type of girl that you trust the person that you've just gone with and yeah. I'm just kind of like you see the man them yeah you see when it comes to like beating girls and that yeah you know man them not really care like that like you see like girls I'm sure you know the guys to be a certain whatever to like guys just want to get bust their nut do you know what I'm trying to say so it's not a thing of like oh this person is this this kind of level quality or whatever like man them don't really that's why a lot of men will cheat on their girls, which is mad, with a dead, like they might have a 10-10 ten, ten girl, but end up cheating with a 5-5, five, five, because at the time they're just thinking with their penis and they're just thinking about the nut. Do you ever shoot your shot? Huh? You ever yeah, I'll happily shoot my you shot. You shoot your shot? Really proud of this moment. So there's this really good looking guy at the end of the bar once. So I sent some drinks. So you sent the, drinks to him? Yeah, I sent drinks to him at the end like of the bar. You were like a boss. Yes, I sent to the barman, I was like, look, send him drinks. And the barman come back and was like, oh, he rejected it, right? Oh. And I died inside a little and then sent a bottle of champagne over. And then, he walked, then the guy came over with two glasses and was like, that was really kind of you to offer a bar. I don't let women buy me drinks, but I hope we can toast together. And I was like, oh, I hear that, though. a game, but you've got a game, Yeah, sir. yeah, you, done it, you, did, you finessed it nicely still. But right, you're sending drinks to the man, then, and that? Yeah. Bruh. Shoot my shot, innit? Go always do that. Well, I did. And we do. There's women that shoot their shot. I read that story, you know, so that's a proper gangster move still. Thank you. Well done. That takes a real boss in it, so she's got some courage. I respect that, man, because some girl are just there waiting to... Yeah, come on, man, she's a G, man. Ladies, learn. Learn from Shai Shai, you get me? You know what, I like this guy, you know. What would you do if I'd slept with two of your friends? When I'm getting to know you? Yeah. If I really like you, I could look past it. Really? You know what I'm trying to say, but if I just met you, and oh yeah, man, I was like, oh yeah, man, chop that. I'll probably just like, really? be cool. I'll just probably be cool with you. So like, the strategy for women is don't let him introduce you to the bros. I don't want to do that. <laughs> don't, but no, but you have to let us know at the end. And if you've done it, yeah, you're gonna have to let man know like eventually, like so if you're taking man serious. Would you want me to directly tell you? You have to tell me. Would yeah. you not prefer? No. But at what stage then? Well, man, them have to tell me. If if if, if my man them ain't told me and you ain't told me, you look all snake, you're all pagans. So when do I tell you then? Because this is the thing. What if I'd done it? I really like you, and then now I'm scared that I'm gonna lose you. Imagine I find out the man them said you're not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know you like this John, but in 2020, I was blowing her back out. If he tells me that, yeah, and then I come to you like, and you knew this, I'll fall away that you didn't show me this from before. The L evil way, innit? We all lose. We all lose, innit? But yeah. honesty is the best policy, innit? I mean, if it's me personally, if my man's getting with the gal and man's chopped that thing back in the day, I'm sure, man, your broski, back in the day, that was my John. I'd done that, innit? So if my boys are, you get me, they gotta show me, innit? You can't be on some sneaky thing, man. What would you do if my ex was after you? Then it's beef, innit? Like, what would you want me to do, innit? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm, if he wants beef with me, then I'm going to try and avoid it for your sake, innit? Because someone you probably love once in a time. But uh, I'll speak to him like, bro, like, listen, the girl's mine now, respectfully. She doesn't want you no more. You got to let her go. If he keeps coming, if he's, he's coming for me, I'm not coming for him. So if he's coming for me, then I just got to deal with what comes to me, innit? Do you know what I mean? What would you expect a guy to do? Probably that, actually. Uh, she's really buying what I'm saying, you know, boy. What would you do if I wanted to start on OnlyFans? Why? 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 I'll ask you why. Like, why do you want to start OnlyFans? Make money. What are you doing at the moment, though? Have you got no job and you're just trying to... Yeah, what if I was just out here hustling? Well, and it's, that's like your only result, to be OnlyFans. It's not the only result. It's but why do you want to be OnlyFans, income, though? isn't it? Nah, man. Multiple streams of income nah, on Netflix. Nah. Well, what are you doing, though? Sharing your toes? I knew you like toes. No, I don't like toes, but like, them man can see toes. I don't care about toes. Them man can see the toes, but you're trying to show like everything else. Nah, man, I don't want anyone seeing what I, what's, what's my like. Bro, there's no way my girl's getting OnlyFans. Sorry, big up everyone that's staying there, OnlyFans. You don't do your thing, but my girl, no, nah, I'm your OnlyFan. I'm the only one I see in that stuff. End of story. Yeah, so it's that ego thing. It's not ego thing, it's just like, I don't want to share what's mine like with other people. like, And also, my girl will never be in a situation where she needs to be only fans for money. Why have you got a pattern like that, yeah? If, she, if, you're, if you're with me and we're together, I've got you. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, so if you need help, I would help you. Or I'd help you look for a job that you want. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, I don't need you to resort to only fans. Have you always been like this? I feel like I really like the way you answer the questions. I've grown a lot. As I said, like being in a long relationship, I've grown a lot and I learned a lot. Before, I was not this kind of guy, like, I was like... Like, my friends would tell you toes would never be in a relationship. Like, I'll never... I'll never be vulnerable. I'll never want to commit to one person. As in, like, I want to be dating different girls, but I'll never take any girl seriously Serious. or try to be in a relationship with any girl. Like, I was not on that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know why. I just didn't care like that. Do you think we've got chemistry? Yeah, no, I feel like we're kind of vibing. I feel like we would have a good conversation and a good fun as well. Like, yeah. yeah, man. I can talk to you, like, do you know what I'm saying? And you're, you're not too serious, but you have values as well. Like, that's like things I look for in a, in a woman. Nice. Yeah, we do. I wish you the best for 2022. Thank you. Thank you. Are you looking for a man in 2022? Yeah. Hopefully. What's your type? What is your type, by the way? If you were to look at all my exes, they're all so different. Oh, so is I don't it? have like a specific type. Just if Am it's I your funny. type? Yes. <laughs> you are actually. I'd, I'd say you're my type. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna lie, the date was good, man. I don't feel like she really grilled me hard, you know. She was quite nice, it was a good conversation. I feel like we had a deep connection, so it was different from the other ones, you know what I'm trying to say? It was a good date. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I think a second date's on the cards. No, it was so hard to grill him, because I quite like him. I'm not gonna lie, I think I handled the grilling quite well, man, I didn't really feel no pressure. Yeah, it was definitely one of the best dates I've had. For that day, I'll probably give myself a 10. Yeah, I'll slide this DM. Okay. Tell so I might take it to the studio. I'm going to give him a 9. And he's got a 9 because I feel like he's honest. He seems like a good man. He's a family man. And that's what I want. And he's 6 foot.